Uh, the state deficit battle spreading now to the southwest. Last week, Moody's cut Arizona's outlook to negative, citing its massive billion-dollar deficit for the next fiscal year. Joining us this morning is Arizona State Treasurer uh, Doug Ducey. Uh, joins us to talk about uh, the challenges in that state. And, and, and Treasurer, how you, how you go about um, resolving them? Was the rating outlook undeserved, in your view? Well, first, thanks for having me this morning. And, you know, I, I think it's important to realize what Moody's did. They kept our, our, our rating the, the same. Uh, we're investment grade, but they did change their outlook from stable to negative. I remain a lot more positive sitting in the treasurer's office. The treasurer's the state's banker and chief investment officer. And I'm able to see a couple of things that tell me we're headed in the right direction. The first is our cash balance. Uh, a year ago in January, our cash balance was negative almost uh, $970 million. Uh, this week, we have over a billion dollars in cash on hand. So that tells me that the trend is in the right direction. I also see what the legislature is doing in terms of, of cuts. I see the governor's budget, which is going to close the $700 million gap in 11 and the billion dollar gap in 12. So there's a lot of things that are, have this headed in the right direction, but there's tough decisions to be made. Um, as you look around at various states, we were joking earlier this morning about Minnesota trying to raise their top marginal tax rate to close to 14 percent. On the other side, you have um, the likes of Governor Christie here in New Jersey uh, taking on the unions in ways that few governors ever have. Who's, who's doing it right and who's doing it absolutely wrong? Well, there, there's three things states can do in this situation. They can do the right thing, they can do the wrong thing, or they can sit here and wait for something to magically happen from Washington. Arizona's doing the right thing. People like Chris Christie in New Jersey are doing the right thing. Minnesota raising its top marginal tax rate is just crazy in, in a recession. So we're doing the right things in terms of making the cuts to the budget. Where the governor just passed a jobs bill that will incent jobs, it'll give a jobs credit, it lowers the corporate income tax rate, it has a $25 million deal closing fund. These are the kind of things that get the economy heated up and growing again, and then we get rid of spending that's, that's unnecessary or that we just can't afford at this time. Yeah. Uh, in Wisconsin, big battle over whether or not to take away collective bargaining rights for state employees. Is that something that's, I mean, how does, is the situation, uh, uh, can you replicate that in Arizona? I'm not sure what current state law has. Well, Arizona is a right-to-work state. We do have some covered employees in, in state government, but we're looking at everything across the board, including pensions, as to how do we reform and improve this government. I, I, I'm, I'm new to uh, state government. I come from the private sector, uh, and in the private sector, small businesses and big companies, just like families, tighten their belt when times get tough. Yeah. Government has continued to grow, but I do think with the legislature that we have in office, in Arizona and with the governor that we have, we are changing the direction. We are cutting spending. There are difficult decisions being made. And I think there's also an initiative to have uh, state employees uh, become part of the right to work uh, initiative in the state. Are there elements that are still um, sacred cows in a way, things you put that, that to approach cuts is just too politically toxic to mention? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I think everything's on the table here. We looked at our Constitution, and constitutionally, I mean, a state government educates the kids. A state government uh, pays attention to public safety, so we've got to keep the bad guys locked up. But once you get beyond public safety and educating kids in K through 12, we're looking at everything that's in that budget, and there's a lot of discussion about uh, what government doesn't do and can't do well. Um, you don't, you're clearly not relying on any help from federal authorities. And you say that bankruptcy, which has been a topic of debate as well, is a, is a coward's way out. Yes, bankruptcy is not an option for Arizona. Bankruptcy is a coward's way out. And you won't see uh, talk in Arizona, at least from the state treasurer's office, about declaring bankruptcy. We'll make the appropriate cuts, we'll grow the economy, and we'll navigate out of this storm. Have you seen migration of business um, into the state, or, or out of the state for that matter, because of... Uh, variations in tax rates over state lines? There's you know, a big we, fight oh, between Illinois and Wisconsin, for instance, over trying to draw employers 
uh, just a few miles across the state line to, to benefit from some of the tax uh, uh, variabilities. Sure, sure. You know, Arizona has been a state that has grown decade over decade in the top uh, three of any state in the country since 1950. And we still see net migration. Uh, we brought a lot of individuals to Arizona. I think our opportunity is to bring companies and headquarter offices to Arizona, as well as retain the companies that we have here now. We just passed a bill yesterday uh, that, that the governor led that reduces the corporate income tax rate to less than 5%. That puts us in the lowest uh, five states in the country. So we think we'll see Arizona continue to grow. People love to, to move here. We have a great quality of life. It's a great place to live, work, and play. Now we want to attract and retain headquarter offices. And California and what's going on in Southern California and Northern California. And Californians love Arizona, much like people in the Midwest and Chicago. Yeah. So we expect a lot of companies to be relocating here. Yeah, we've heard some of the challenges from business and, and operating in California and you're not you're not far away, uh, Treasurer. Good good to talk to you. Thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me this morning.